Uh, nice weekend for that, right? Absolutely. If you're heading out to that or really anything this weekend, the one thing that you got to remember is bring that sunscreen and remember that it's going to get pretty warm. It's Definitely not going to be feeling like the middle of March as we head into the weekend with plenty of sunshine and really warm conditions. We're just not quite there yet. We're still seeing some of those temperatures staying closer into those low 60s, pretty similar to what we saw just yesterday. Checking out what we saw yesterday, it was kind of a more unsettled day across much of the region as a cold front pressed through our region. Now, that brought a couple bands of rain to portions of the central coast. You saw a couple of these images for the time lapse, actually including some rainbows. But by yesterday afternoon, beautiful sunny skies were all the way through the central coast. They, were got, they got there a little bit earlier in the morning for much of the central coast, especially along the south coast. But for today, we've got very similar conditions with those scattered showers in the morning, clearing out to abundant sunshine by the afternoon. The biggest change, though, is that once this one is done, we are going to be staying clear for quite a while. This is basically a rinse and repeat situation from what we saw just yesterday with that cold front making its way through the region, bringing us some scattered showers across the region. Not a huge problem for this morning, just a couple small areas of light rain, less than a tenth of an inch of rain for all of our communities. I think most areas aren't going to even see any accumulating rainfall from the storm system, but still something that we're going to keep a close eye on. Checking out that radar, you can see those couple scattered showers making their way through the region earlier this morning, just about an hour ago. Right now, nice and clear across the region, but we do still have a couple areas of instability making their way onto the central coast. Over the next about 15 to 20 minutes in the most northern portions of the region, we're talking areas like Shandon and Paso Robles, we'll likely see a little bit more rain this morning. Elsewhere, we could see some more rain across those western beaches and our coastal valleys in the mid morning hours. So let's time that out. No major concerns right now, but by about 10 a.m., we're going to likely see that big cold front kind of fall apart as it makes its way on shore. But that's also going to bring us a couple scattered showers here and there. By about 10 a.m., this is what we're going to be looking like, continuing to see that scattered shower at risk all the way through today. Minimal at best, still lots of sunshine by this afternoon. But as we head into Wednesday, clear skies are going to stick around and they're going to be here for quite a while. We do have some added wave energy, eight to nine feet across all of our western beaches right now with localized sets up to 12 feet for today. So something to keep an eye on. Also a high surf advisory due to that is in place all the way through Friday at 6 a.m. for all of our western beaches. So there's a couple things to be thinking about, but overall the sunshine is going to be our main story. 64 in Paso Robles, 65 in San Luis Obispo, 63 for both Santa Maria and Lompoc and nearly 70 degrees along our south coast for today. It's going to be a beautiful day, then even more sunshine expected all the way through the extended forecast, likely getting up towards 80 for many communities as we head into the early portion of next week. Neil, back to you. All right.